my paper loom square into two centimeter strips as well, but I've left one centimeter at the top. Pick up your first strip of paper and weave it under the first leg of your paper loom, over the second and under the third again. Turn it all over and at the start here you're going to add some sticky tape or glue down that first strip. Keep going under and over until you reach the end. Or sticky tape down the end of that strip. I've chosen to put glue on the front of my work and sticky tape on the back so no one can see my sticky tape but you can do it however you want. Choose your second strip this time we're going to weave in the opposite direction to the last strip. So we're going to start over and then go under. So you can see how it's going to make a checkerboard effect. As you are weaving, try and make sure it's quite tight and move it up every now and then to slide right next to the last strip. Your third strip is going to weave the same way the top one did. So you're just going to keep weaving over and under opposite to the strip directly above. last strip one centimeter width instead of two centimeters. This is because we have that one centimeter bit at the top of our loom. If you enjoy weaving you might like to try out different papers and different size looms. Here I'm using some leftover patterned paper, 9cm by 9cm, and I've made my strips 1cm this time. You can experiment with different types of paper. So you might like to try using artworks of yours that you don't mind cutting up, or recycled paper, like the paper in magazines. When you're finishing off your weaving, make sure to glue down any loose flaps from your loom. 